Your comment when you when you when you say we hate Jesus, I hope you're not putting us all in the same same boat. One second. Yeah, one second. Sorry, sorry. I'm in traffic. I'm blocking yeah, traffic. Yeah. yeah, yeah no so um, I hope you're not putting us all in the same boat. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you're not, and it's very hard to, you know, really love love someone you know that you've never really met, and you know what I mean, etc. So it's sort of something we're told to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And what happens these days is because some because most Christians um, put Jesus Jesus at the same level as or even God, it starts sort of you know indirectly and stuff turning Muslims off from Jesus. Yeah, but some might won't admit it. But obviously, yeah. we have to love Jesus. Yeah. So so I I get your point of view, and that's why I I wanted your perspective to be put out there because it was an interesting perspective coming from a Muslim point of view on you know why it is that certain muslims have this uh you know like seem to discredit jesus the way that they do right um now i would say that all of you discredit jesus maybe maybe if let, let's let, if i'm not going to be as extreme to say that you all hate him like hate him but you all discredit him i'll i'll go i'll go with that if I, if i'm going to put it in a softer way you guys all discredit him because, um, obviously, he is more than what you guys say that he is. He's more than just uh, uh, a man who uh, came and basically failed to get your to get his message across. Because the, the way that Islam depicts Jesus is that Jesus came, came down with the gospel, uh, failed to get the people to believe, got some to believe, some others didn't believe. So. That was okay, um, but but uh, he he ran away from when he was being uh, attacked by the crowd and crucified. Ran away from that instead of taking it on the chin. Um, failed to uh, uh, entrust his gospel to uh, to a point to where his it doesn't get lost or corrupted, and now his entire message and personages and mission mission is distorted and disrupted. And so this is the Jesus that you guys depict, a failure. This Isa bin Maryam character is, is why we say is not the Jesus historically that we know, because Isa bin Maryam failed in the Quran. Uh, see, the perspective we have is only what we're told in the Quran. We obviously, Muslims, we believe that the Quran is the word of God. And if the word of God tells us that Jesus was a servant of God, uh, the Messiah, servant of God, um, then we're, we're supposed to believe that. It's not that we're doing something, you know what I mean, um, okay. unorthodox. We're, we're not doing it. We're, every Muslim will only tell you what the Quran says for mm -hmm. us to do or what the Quran tells us about certain people, uh, i.e. Jesus, peace be upon him. Yeah. So... Fair in, enough. For example, we're told that Jesus, even Jesus himself, like, and I don't want you saying oh, I don't quote the Bible, blah blah blah. But when Muslims quote the Bible, no, no, I'm saying, no, for example, um, you've heard this many times. Our criteria is is our book, is the Quran. The same thing. Your criteria is the Bible. We can agree on that. Um, and uh, so what we do is we take what's what's said by others, and we put it next to the Quran. And if it fits the criteria, then we accept it. If it doesn't, we reject it. Some Christians say, oh, we pick and we choose. Yeah, you but see, for that's, example, that's a dishonest method, bro. That's very dishonest. That's a, no, that's for a example. Dishonest. Imagine if we did that with the Quran. Now, we went to the Quran and we saw, like, for example, where it says that Jesus is the word of Allah. We say, see, the, the, the Quran is teaching that Jesus is God, the eternal word, just like it says in John 1.1. But ignore so, the other parts where it says Jesus is just a messenger and stuff like that. Imagine if we did that. So the Quran, okay, for example, let me give you an example. This is what I've been told, been taught. So when, when God says words, when, when we're told things in the Quran like Jesus and Mary ate and Jesus is the word of God given to Mary. See, God is answering, God is saying things in simple words to answer the uh to defend jesus from what is being 
said he is. So you might look at that, but that's actually God telling you, okay, what he is is this, but only this. So the words there are, is, is the word of God that he gave to Mary. Okay. He's not, he's not, the, he's, he's the word of God that he bestowed onto Mary. Uh, so be, and it is, so he, he had no father. He was born miraculously. And he told Mary, she said to him, how can I bear a son when no man has touched me? And, uh, and the reply is, kun fayakun, be and it is. So that's the word, because if you read the, the actual ayah, it says what he, what, the word he gave to Mary, minhu, and a spirit from him. So a spirit, we're all spirits from, we're all from God. Our spirit in us is all from God. Who, who puts the spirit in the human body? Is it, not, is it not from God? Yeah, but do you, do you yeah. understand? That? The ruhun minhu, not ruhu. Ruhu, God, Lord, you want to explain this one thing? Ruhu yeah, minhu, yeah. spirit from him, wa ruhu, his spirit. There's yeah. a difference there. You well, believe so he is the spirit of God. What, what is, so, like, so I'm glad we got here somewhere. What does ruh Allah mean? Ruh Allah. The spirit of God. Right. The, the hadith in Sahih, Sahih Muslim, 193e, says that Jesus is the spirit of Allah. The spirit of, not from, but Ruh Allah. The spirit yeah, of Allah. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that, to so say, that's, come on. Is that now. in Muslim you said? Muslim? Yeah. Sahih Muslim, 193e. If, uh, if yeah. you want, I can put it on the screen. I know you, you said you're driving, so you probably can't see it. But. <laughs> But yeah, the hadith, the hadith Muhammad says, and he's quoting Moses, who says that Jesus is Ruh Allah wa kalimatuhu, the spirit of Allah and his word. No, no, it's not the spirit of Allah. The, the, say, look, that's, we that's got God logic. Yeah, yeah, we go by the Quran, okay? The Quran. I'm not a hadith rejecter, but let's go by the Quran, by the criteria that we, we got, use. We go and it's the Quran. No, but Sorry? No, your, your, your criteria is not just the Quran. Your criteria. Yeah, I know, but yet. let's go by the Quran and what the wording is exactly for just no, no, for no, the no, sake no, of no, argument. I can't. I can't. I can't just now reject the hadith. If, we're, if, we're, if you're going to be Quran only today, let me know. No, I'm not but, Quran only, brother. I'm not Quran okay. only. I can't sit there and read that uh, hadith at the moment. So, what I'm trying to say is okay. for the sake of just me driving um, w uh, without looking at my phone, can we just. Put if that aside want, for now. If, if Send me. I, I, I'll look that up, and I have heard that something along those lines. But yeah. at the moment, I'll just speak from what I know, what the knowledge I have of. Okay. And that's what we're talking about. You mentioned the Quran. I'm mentioning, brother, who? I'm, I'm mentioning, brother. I'm mentioning all of Islam. I'm mentioning all of what Islam teaches, right? Yep. Because you don't. You get a lot of heavy theology, not just from the Quran, but Hadith as well. So. That's why I'm so, saying Ruto, Ruto, I, cannot, I cannot hold on. Yeah, I cannot reject what the authentic hadith say and just look. Oh, and just no, no, I'm not saying reject. Side. Sorry, God okay. you. God, you. don't get me wrong. I'm not saying reject. No, 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 no. no, no. I'm saying can we just put that on the side for now because I can't read. I got to read obviously the context and what's going on with this hadith. Well, well, I'm not rejecting the, anything. The, the context is 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 uh, intercession that people are going to be trying to have the different prophets intercede for them. They're going to go to Abraham. He's going to say no. Go to Moses. Moses is going to say no. Go to Jesus. Jesus is going to say no. Go to Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad. Right. Yeah. Yes. So that, that's, that. the, that's the context of it. And in that context, Moses said the reason why he says no, not me. Go to Jesus is because he says, for he is Ruh Allah wa Kalimatuhu. He is the Spirit of Allah and His Word. So go to Him. Okay. So uh, um, I can't read that hadith at the moment. Is the, is the wording exactly as you say it? Ruh. Yes. It's yes, sir. God's spirit or a spirit from God? It's the spirit of Allah, the spirit of Ruh Allah. So there's a hadith that says he's a spirit, he's Allah's spirit, a spirit yeah, of yeah. Allah. The spirit of Allah, yes. The spirit of yeah. Allah. Okay, I can't really see that at the moment. So me, I'll look that up when I get home. Yeah, I can't read it, God logic. I can't read it. It's, it's okay. Let me so uh, let's go by the Quran wanna, for now. I put it up. I want to put it up for the screen. Yeah, uh, for, no for the people to see. Because I don't I You're gonna make me look at it and have a car accident now. <laughs> no, don't, don't uh, pay attention. <laughs> pay attention on the road, man. <laughs> pay attention on the road, but yeah. yeah. So it's because so, of this, man. It's because of this. This is why I have my certain views when it comes to Jesus. When it, when it, when it comes to what Islam teaches about him, this is why. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. yeah. So ruh. So in the Quran, it says ruh minhu. 
mm-hmm. from him. Mm-hmm. There's, um, I think you'd agree when I say from him is one thing. Ruhun minhu, minhu the key word, from him. Wa ruhu, his spirit. So in the Quran it says ruhu minhu, not ruhu. So it says his, his, his word that he gave to Mary. And ruhun minhu. A spirit from him. All, all, all human beings are spirit from God. So like, go back to what I was saying about w- w- when, when, when you say, okay, there's these things in the Quran. These things are in the Quran to answer, to answer the, um, the people making the allegations against Jesus. There's simple words like he ate food. He done this, he done that. It's to show that when someone eats food, you know what I mean? He's not got, he needs to go, you know, bathroom, etc. I'm, I'm pretty sure you heard of these, um, <laughs> th- these things before. So it's very simplistic. The language uh, uh, Allah Azza wa Jal uses in the Quran, you know. Uh, uh, so he's telling you, okay, he is a word that I gave to Mary and he is a spirit from me, from me. So if, if he was to agree with the Christian narrative, he would have said, he is my word and my spirit. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's why. Um, that if that was what was in the Quran, this that would make sense. The, but he's saying a spirit from him to tell the Christians, look, okay, he is a spirit that I put in Mary's uh, belly. But this, but you know, he's, a, he's from he's a creation so, from so me. This, so this is where the problem is, my friend. This is where but the after that is. he said he's a servant but, as well. Hold on, let me let me let me answer this in full because I think it does. You're 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 right in that the Quran has these different things to say about Jesus. This is where. I, this is my problem. My accusation against the Quran is that it's not consistent on what Jesus is. It, it is it's, it, it, it's confused about it, really. One moment it says that he's a servant, just a servant of, of, of Allah, right? And, and in another way, it says that he's the word of Allah and a spirit from him. And then you have the hadith that says he's the spirit of Allah. So you have where it talks about Jesus in all of these different lights and these ways that it talks about him are conflicting. Because if like, for example, the word, for for example, Allah's word, you would agree, is eternal and uncreated, right? Yeah, I've heard this on uh, Ivory. Uh, I'm not going to say that because his word is eternal and he's the word that makes him eternal. That's a that's a fellow. That's a that's a that's not it's not uh, exactly correct. How how you've explained it. I've heard you explain it before. So you, uh, you uh, I'm not gonna you, fall. I'm not so much fall for that one. I don't really uh, agree. With the way you, you've been doing your homework. It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> every prophet, every God, logic, uh, stuff for logic. Every, every, everyone every, is a word. Every prophet had the word, was a word from God. You know what I mean? Uh, wait, wait, what, stop had, there, stop, had stop, words stop, stop. from I gotta God. Stop you there. I gotta stop you there. So now look, what I won't do, what I won't do, is, you know, kind of interpret the Quran in my own way or say something that the Quran does not say. I won't do it even as a Christian. I want to handle the Quran as honestly as possible, right? I'm not a Quranist. I know, no, I'm I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when we read the Quran, let's handle it correctly, okay? Let's handle it correctly. Now, you said that every prophet is a word from God, right? That's what you said. You would have to now substantiate All the books. All the books and everything they most things they preach, the book, Torah, Injil, Quran is from God. Do we agree? Um, I I agree that that's what the Quran teaches. Yeah, so that's but what I'm basically it, saying. Okay, I know what you're saying. So they came with the word of God, they came with the message, but they themselves are not the message. They are they themselves are not the word from Allah, right? Uh in the context word from God. I don't know. I have to see the exegesis on that, but I'd say they do preach the word of God. Yeah, they preach the word of God, but they yeah. themselves are not identified as the word of God themselves. While Jesus, Jesus is identified as Allah's word. That's the difference, bro. That's the huge difference. So you got to understand the difference in the Quran. It's telling you, like I said, it's 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 it's, a, it's, it's telling you, OK, yes, Christians, he is a word from God. He is a, he's a, he's a word of God. He is a spirit from me, but he's not God. He's a servant. So it's just and, answering and, and the I, Christian. I, I know. Look, listen, this is where the confliction is. In one so sense, if there was an listen, issue with Muhammad let me, let me or some other you, proper no, no, being. Let me tell you what the problem is, Yusuf. Listen, listen, let me tell you what the problem is, okay? And it, and it goes with the argument. Watch. If Jesus is Allah's word, and you've heard it, you've heard the, the argument. If Jesus is Allah's word, 
and Allah's word is uncreated and eternal, then that means that Jesus is uncreated and eternal. That's what that means. While at the same time, the Quran elsewhere says that he's not God. So this is the yeah. conundrum. This is the problem. It's God.